I actually have eyebrows today. Hey everyone, this is Mary over here at Images on the Page. Today I'm going to be doing a review called, um, a review on Royal Secret by M. Nopic. It is an arc I requested from Less Than Three Press through NetGalley. So quick, this is about two people, two persons of royalty, Raven and Nicholas, who have been forced into an arranged marriage, and both of them have a secret. Raven's is that she is actually a boy. Raven has been um, forced to take his sister's place when she died really young to keep the arranged marriage because his parents really wanted that alliance. Nicholas' secret is that he's gay, which is punishable by death in his country. So the whole book is kind of about them trying to relate to each other while keeping these secrets. And they meet for the first time on the day of their wedding. So that's when our story, that's when the story starts, is right after, is like of the day of the wedding. Um, so now my thoughts. So I really requested it because it sounded like a really interesting premise about these two people who both had secrets from each other. Um, it does say right in the synopsis that, because it is told from Raven's perspective, so it does let you know like right ahead that Raven is a boy being forced to take the part of his sister. So I did give it a three out of five stars. I did really, I liked it for the most part. I connected pretty well with the characters. I had some pretty emotional moments. One thing that is really difficult is because both characters have these secrets. Um, there's this like overwhelming fear, at least because it's told from Raven's perspective, that the secret's gonna be found out and when is it gonna be found out and how, what are the repercussions of that? And then, but that like kind of gets extended because Nicholas has his own secret that Raven doesn't know about and he, wants nothing to do with his female bride um, because Nicholas is gay. He's trying to start up this relationship with his husband and it's just like kind of going nowhere and it's really frustrating for him. And then it kind of starts this chase of him trying to find out Nicholas's secret. And I mean, one of the big reasons that I did not give it a higher rating than three was because Raven almost throughout the entire book doesn't really have his own identity. From a very young age, he is forced into his sister's role because like I think she dies at like age eight or something like that. And so he is forced to take her place because his parents really want this alliance with Nicholas's family. Um, so where he used to be able to do boy things, climb trees and stuff, he's now forced to do female things. And I put quotations there because I don't feel like those need to be separated, but in the book they are. Um, so he's forced, forced to wear dresses and corsets and wear his hair long and learn all the like sewing, knitting, all that type of stuff. And it really, I mean, one thing that's really interesting is like the author does talk about how it affects his body to be forced into a corset, how it changes his appearance, which I thought was really interesting. But it's like once he gets out of his parents, under his parents' grasp, he feels like he can maybe have a little bit of freedom. Once Nicholas finds out a secret, because like the pre like the his parents believe like once, because since they're already married, instead of him just like Instead of Nicholas just divorcing Raven or killing him because of him being a guy, he'll be too ashamed and keep, like, keep the marriage, which is, oh, I mean, if Nicholas didn't have his own secret, I couldn't, I don't know. It just seems weird. But, but so through this whole thing, Nick, uh, Raven is forced to take on his sister's role. So he doesn't get a chance to, like, establish who he is. And so he starts to learn a little bit about himself in this book. But like just barely and then he like focuses solely on Nicholas and trying to start this relationship and learn Nicholas's secret. There's actually a line in the book. Nicholas had guessed correctly. Never Raven had never been kissed before, and not by a woman, and especially not by a man. He wondered if it felt any different. The fact that he had no desire to find out startled him. The man he married had become the sole focus of all his thoughts on a deeper level than simple desire to be accepted. 
And it's like that's kind of what happens is he, instead of trying to like learn a little bit about himself and take this time, he just like becomes obsessed with Nicholas in the relationship. And I just, it made me pretty uncomfortable because Nicholas, I mean, Raven doesn't know himself. And Nicholas is hiding as well. And then they fall in love in what feels like a short period, but I don't actually think it is. I think it's like over the course of months. But it's just, I thought it was a really interesting thing about identity but like I felt like Raven never had his own identity through the entire book because the first half is him just constantly worrying about his secret being found out and then the second half is him trying to after he learns Nicholas's secret that he is gay and Raven's a guy so he's like well it works out it's just him trying to start a relationship with Nicholas like, that is his only so focus. And I understand part of it is because, like, they are married, so why not have a, at least a polite relationship? But it just, it kind of left a bad taste in my mouth that, like, he was, like, there's a moment where he gets to see Nicholas um, practicing sword fighting, and he's just like, I wonder what that would be like, and stuff like that. And it's just like, he never got that chance, and he doesn't, he still doesn't get a chance to be, to find out who he is because... He has to stay in this role, even though, like, Nicholas does find out the secret. Spoiler. Um, Nicholas does find out the secret. And things kind of work out. But it's like he's still forced in that role because he's went into the marriage as a woman. He can't just, like, come out as male. But also made me really uncomfortable in the beginning. Because it's very evident that Raven didn't want this. Raven didn't want to take his sister's place. He is forced into it. Because he just makes these like little comments here and there about how he would have always rather have done this or that or the other thing. And it was like such a, like there's already like broad home in the book um, because Nicholas's kingdom punishes people who are attracted to the same sex. But it's like there's more to it than that because Raven's parents like didn't even not want him to be male. Like they're so focused on what they want. They completely force him inside this role that is completely antithesis of who he is. Like, they don't just, like, like, oh, we have this arranged marriage that we have to keep because that's because we want that alliance. So we're just going to completely erase you being a kid. Or not you being a kid, but you being, a like, male. And force you to dressing like a female and acting like a female what their society entails and it's just it's so uncomfortable throughout the entire book because like you it's just for me it was very present that it wasn't like Raven felt like he was a girl and boy's body like he wasn't transgender or anything like that or gender fluid or whatever he feels male like he talks about it but like his parents force him to the complete opposite of the spectrum and it's just was it was really uncomfortable for me in the beginning actually throughout the whole book because of that and so like I said I mean I did connect with the characters but it was just a hard book to read looks like it might be part of a series so they might address the more Raven coming into his own in the later series but it was just it was hard for me for me to see like Raven going from like I need to be in this marriage and I could possibly die because I if he finds out I'm a guy to like just being obsessed with Nicholas and starting his relationship under a pretense that kind of starts these problems and then them falling in love and being happy together and it's just I don't know it wasn't my favorite so I don't know if those made any sense I guess I'll find out during editing but until the next video ta-ta for now